Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Slackers or Mad Dog stream. <laughs> I'm a member of the Slackers and the Cover team, and we're doing a very special episode of uh, Joy Robo Building today. Uh, big shout out to a streamer on D Live that I absolutely love to watch, uh, named uh, Prince High Life. So if you haven't gone to follow him yet, guys, I highly suggest you do. He's an awesome guy, very chill streamer, very awesome person. And as you guys know, I like to take requests in this game, so I decided to uh, do a robot for Prince Highlight. So this episode, episode of Joy Robo Building is dedicated to you, sir. Uh, we're going to be making one of his favorite uh, car uh, vehicles from a cartoon back in the day, which I also enjoyed love growing up, called uh, Biker Mice from Mars. So. Let's, without further ado, get into it. Had to do a little bit of grinding to uh, <laughs> uh, make sure I had enough robots to get the bay I needed to make this. So, Alright guys, uh, don't forget, mirror mode is your best friend. So that line coming on means it'll build the other half of the bike, which is very important in a build like this. So. Let me go through the list of uh, parts that we are going to need for this episode. Now this might be a little bit longer of an episode of uh, Joy Robo Building than uh, normal. Just like when I did the uh, uh, Scorpion Spider Bat or whatever. Uh, that was uh, an extra long build and a complicated build. So I did a practice run first. Uh, so I already have the vehicle built and it's functional, but I want to remake it again with you guys on stream and we'll see if we can do that this time. Last time something was slightly off on it and it didn't quite work right, but um, this time we're going for making it 100% like we did again. I will say it did take me mm, about four and a half maybe five hours to make the other one so let's see if we can do that a little quicker this time all right uh without further ado we're going to be using uh the compact blocks so that way we can get that extra extra light the extra light weight of the blocks and the uh higher health of the uh of like a heavy block so that way because we're not using a lot of blocks on this build so we kind of need that there uh, we will be using some of the glass as well and uh, also we will be using the struts these specifically these slices the big and the small uh, for movement uh, since it is a motorcycle we are building I wanted to do wheels but that didn't quite work out so that's what the struts are gonna be for and so we're gonna make it a hover so we're gonna be using uh, was it um, I think it's like uh, it, the T, the regular hovers all the way up to, to T3s, I think is what I was able to put on the bike, so. And then uh, some thrusters as well. And for weapons, we'll be using the T3 lasers and the uh, T3 seeker as well. Uh, for special, we will be using... Uh, actually, I don't remember if I, I don't think I was able to put on what I wanted. Hold on. Let me double check on that. No. Yeah. It's just the laser and the seekers. Sorry. So we'll be just use, we won't be using any of these in here, unfortunately. And I didn't have room for any happy little shields this time. Uh, we are going to be using a lot, a lot of cosmetic parts here to make this work. So we will be using the yeah the saber tooth ear right here. Uh, we will also be using uh, the ninja mask. Uh, we will also be using the rhino horn and the. the mech where is it at yeah mech ear left and right as well so without further ado let's let's get into it huh 
All right. First, we're gonna need some complex. Comp. <laughs> we're gonna need some uh, some blocks here. Uh, I think it's a three by three. Let's go ahead and get this up in the air. We're starting off with this first because we need to get a certain cosmetic part on first and then from there we should be able to build up the bike and accomplish our goal. So, <coughs> mm, pardon me guys. Oh, I felt like I was getting sick last night. So, hopefully that isn't the case, but we'll see. Alrighty, that should be thick enough I think. Now, let's get the mech ear left, I think it was, yes. Let's see, how did this go? It goes like this. There we go. Alright, that's going to be our seat. Very nice. All right. Now we will get the rest of these mech parts in here. All right. Uh, yeah. So right here we need. Where are you? There you are. Oh, I guess we have to go out one more. can do this right. Here's the slope. Or can we use... I'm trying to remember which ones I used. I think it went like that. Yeah. Oh! Prince Hellwife, thank you for the uh, diamonds. Limits, limits. And the limits. Yeah, How are you yeah. doing today, sir? All right, so as you can uh, see. Limits, limits. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How yeah. many did you send me? Five limits. Thank you for the five limits, sir. Appreciate uh, it. Limits, limits. So we yeah, just yeah. barely got started. Uh, this is going to be the seat uh, of the bike. Limits. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Uh, limits, limits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you so much for all the all the leanness there sir i really appreciate it all right now like i was saying this was a very complicated build so yeah so we're gonna we're gonna build this one section at a time to make sure that we get this correct so now we're gonna go ahead and build this up this is gonna be the seat at the back of the seat uh, one two three i think it was four and actually that one needs to be just kind of a cute. There we go. So we get that nice slanted look. Yep, there we go. And then we need to do a layer of cubes this way. There we go, I like it. And then another set of these inner compact cubes like so and then we're gonna go ahead and build this seat down now we need to see there we go so once we go back like this we need to do this right here and then we get these nice corner pieces and they fit in there nice and neat like so like so there we go and then build this out a little more and we go out one more on this and then we go back in like so bam there we go i like it and then what piece was it that fits in here it is, sorry, it's this piece right here. 
overthinking this a little bit. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe it was these. Sorry, guys. Trying to remember how this goes. There we go. And then now, we get this nice little triangle piece right here again. Bam. And we gotta do it the opposite direction. Bam. little triangle piece in there again. All right, there we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add our thrusters on here because we know those will fit now. So we're going to put these like so. And on top like so. There we go. There's our nice little seat area right there. Now, we need to get the tire just right, so... Sorry, I'm just looking at my reference pictures of the previous one I built. So I want to make sure I get this right. Okay. So it's pretty much... We take away that one right there, and then we do... That like that. Wait, I know I have a better picture of that angle. Sorry guys, I just want to make sure I get this right because... Okay. So we gotta go... Let's see, three... I guess these right here are supposed to be this right here like so and then oh sorry 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 got that wrong it's supposed to be one more down there we go right. and then we do these slants like so there we go and then I believe we now it's time for the struts or at least the back ones so we need the big slice it's gonna go there like so and then we put this part that way and then this part's gonna go up like so connect into that there we go there that looks right now okay and now we need these complex blocks again. So we're gonna do that, and that, and then fill this in nice and neat. So we need the nice curved edges. So we do that, that, and that. There we go. Now we get the spokes right there. I like it. All right, and now we need to build this out some. other spokes on the other side. Uh, there you are. Just gotta make it thick so that way we can put our lasers on. Alright. And now, there's that. And then, I believe we did this, right? Let me take a step back from this for a second, just to make sure I got this right. Okay. So one, two, three, then the wheel starts, and then... Okay, so the slants were right here. Sorry, guys. That's what I wanted to make sure of. And then... We put two little thrusters in here. 
So, get those. Go like so. And then there's going to be a... Tiny little... Is that the right one? No, I think it's the T2s I had right there. Yep, that's the right one. Alright, so there's our hover right there. We also need to get our T3 lasers on these spokes real quick. Just so that way we know that they're there in the right position. There you are. Alright. And then we're going to put that on right there like so. There we go. The back half of the bike is looking nice. And we're going to go ahead and get this other cosmetic part on here. And get the tail pipes on there. There we go. So now when we're driving down the road, or in this case hovering, uh, we'll have some nice flames and smoke going behind the vehicle, so it looks proper. <laughs> Alright, and... Above that... I have it going like so. Let's see. Oh, I didn't have this layer built. That's why this is looking weird. I was like, why is that not looking right from the picture? There we go. Okay. So now we got the back half of the bike. Let's proceed with making the more complicated front now. Okay. This is the part that's going to be a little tough, guys. So bear with me as I try to recreate create this. How's your day going, by the way, Prince Highlife? You doing pretty good? Not too bad of a day at work? Not sure if he had to step away or not. I know he said he was going to be working when I was doing this. I was like, oh no. <laughs> but this this is the days I always do this, uh, do this guys. And uh, this weekend I'm helping my uh, sister-in-law move. So I will not be available to like push this off till tomorrow. So unfortunate. So. Whoa. Too many cubes. Okay. Now we need to get the ninja mask out. And remember how this sits. So that way we can put it on there right. Left side. Okay, so it sits like this. Wait, did I? Oh no, this isn't the right part. It's, uh... Sorry, I think it's this part, guys, that I meant to uh, say is the uh, gas tanks. <laughs> Alright, so let me get my picture that shows the gas tank position. Okay, yeah. That is correct. No, nah, it needs to go one closer. Yeah, it needs to go one closer. Okay. So we need to remove this layer real quick. No, it doesn't fit one closer. I thought it was supposed to fit one closer. Uh, okay. That's why it's not sitting one closer. Okay, sorry guys. Just figured it out. <laughs> we actually need to go up one layer. That's why it wasn't fitting. There we go. I like it. Alright. Now just putting these blocks there just for the time being until we figure out where on earth this goes. All right, so we need these now. Or maybe, oh yeah, that's what it is. 
We do that, and then we do this. Okay. I think that's one layer too much. Let's see. Now we need to get that ninja mask. Or the... Not the ninja... Well, the ninja mask left and right is what I was going for. Sorry. go. <laughs> I guess if I think, I think if I did the, the slants, they wouldn't work there. Oh no, they do. What did I do those parts then? I don't know. Maybe I like the way it looked better. That looks okay too, so. Alright. Now let's go with our original design. So we had these. I just don't see. Should took a better angle of that, but. Alright, now we need to go... I'm kind of all over the place, I know, guys. My apologies. <laughs> I'm just trying to collect my thoughts and make sure that this is 100% correct. Alright, so we did this number right here. And then... Something like that. I believe. And then... Uh, oh, we needed to build up here. Alright. There we go. And now we can put this like so. And then we do the pyramid. Where are you at? There it is. Pyramid ones like that. Make it look right. I think that's also what I did down here. Yeah, because that wouldn't fit in there. <clears throat> okay. So now that we have that, we can position our speed speedometer. So, there we go. So now we can see how fast we're going on the bike. <laughs> and then, we need to build out the frame up here. So we need to come out a couple this way. I don't remember how many, so we're gonna have to just play this by ear. Let's see. Actually, it should be one, two, three, four, five wide. At some point here, so. All right, now let's go and get that last cosmetic part that we need over here on the for the handlebars, which, are, ironically enough, is the uh, rhino nose. So actually we need to go out the wider part to make that work. Yeah, because they'll overlap. So this is the section that was slightly wider. Got it. Okay, now let's see where those fit. wrong side. There we go. How come it overlaps on one side and doesn't on the other? That doesn't make sense. There 
go. No, it's supposed to be closer than that. Wonder why this isn't sitting correctly. That's interesting. Maybe it's supposed to be one more out. Yeah, that has to be it. Sorry guys. It is very hard to get this placement correct sometimes for these. Alright. Especially on a complicated build. I'm trying to get, once I get the cosmetic parts into place, it's going to make everything else easier. Right, we need the left side. There we go. That looks correct now, right? Actually, no, it doesn't. Let's remove this. Put that there. Maybe because that part was already there, it wouldn't let me place it right. Sometimes this game does some weird things, guys. let me place it before then oh I am doing this wrong okay so these need to be more slanted in that's what it is okay sorry guys that that is completely my bad all right That's what it is, like that. That's how we have them. Okay, but we need to go back some. Okay, but that's the right position, so we just need to come back a few, a few blocks. And that should do it. There it is. All right, there's our handlebars. Get a look back. Now it's starting to come into shape of it actually being a motorcycle. So, okay. Now that we have that, this should be a little easier to start building up. I need the front tank. Let's see. Now I have a better picture of that. There we go. All right, so we go one up from that. Sorry guys, I'm not used to like having going, having to go back and forth like I am. But uh, this, like I said, this was a very complicated build to figure out. So uh, let's see, we need these edge ones right here, like so. Okay. And then it's gonna be like that. And then that's gonna be like that. So we need to get rid of this. Yeah, I think we did like that. Something like that, so. get these cubes in there or these corners there we go looks good I like it and yeah you go straight back to that have that like that that like that and then the laser fits up here t3 laser there we go face it toward the front bam and then now we need the thrusters in there. We have thrusters in there and it makes it look like headlights, so... These ones, if I'm not mistaken? Nope, you gotta go like this. There we go. Oh, 
Oh no, sorry. The thrusters don't go in till you come down one more. So that needs to be some more blocks like so. And now we can put the thrusters in. Sorry. Jumping the gun there a little bit. There we go. I like it. And let's build this out now. So we need to put some more blocks right here. Just like that. And then we need these nice corner pieces because make it nice and uh, sharp. I like it. And bam. And here's where the glass comes in handy. We need a cube glass and we need corner glass. Uh, I don't think we can get the right angle till we... There it goes. Never mind. I got it. Alright, see? And now we have, like, the lights looking through. So, let me go ahead and get some more complex, or compact cubes right here. And now... Oh, we weren't done with the glass yet. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Jump in the gun. We needed this. And we needed these. There we go. Now we're good. And then we can go back to the regular cubes here. Like so. There we go. And then I think it's uh, flat cubes after that, so let's go ahead and get that going in there. And then we can get this. Where did you go? There you are. Like so. Alright. Looking good. I like it. And now the reverse. So. Sorry for like going all over the place guys, but this is very exciting that we're getting the shape right again, so nothing makes me happier than when a build is going smoothly for a change. Okay. So there we go, we got the front look of the bike now. Uh, we still have one more cosmetic part we need to put on, but we don't need to put that on till later, so. Okay, so, just like that. Okay, so then we put one of these, like, so there. And, like that. I think is what I did. I just can't see behind this laser to see how I did the blocks back in there. I think it just went straight in a line, but... Or tried to... That's probably what I ended up doing was this. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to disconnect that. Uh, yeah, that's what I did. I did the, uh, corner in there. There we go. That yeah, looks right. Okay. And then we had the laser attached to that point right there, it looks like. So let's go ahead and 
put that like so. Are we not out enough? Hmm. Yeah, it seems correct. What is the issue here? Look like I put a cube out, but you see, that's the issue why we can't. Maybe this was supposed to be one more wider. This is in the wrong spot. That's why. Okay, so we need to put that there and one more there and then we can put the laser here. There we go. There we go. And then we did something to bring this in. section do, 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 do. There we go. And then I think would the pyramid work there then? There it is. That's what we did. All right, now that looks nice and smooth. I like it. And then we need to do another cube there. And then we can do that other pyramid like so. There we go, that looks better. Okay, now we're back on track. All right, let's, let's continue, shall we? Uh, these... Thrusters might be in the wrong spot. Not 100% sure on that. No, they look like they're in the right spot. So we just need to make sure we do the glass ones there as well then. So that way they don't lose their... Uh... The ability to see like the lights or make it look like we're seeing lights okay let's go ahead and get this bottom of this chassis built there we go like it all right there we go and now we need to build this forward Just build that one out. Okay. okay. Now we need to see a better side picture. There we go. Oh, we forgot to finish building up the side here. Let me do that real quick before it throws me off with any of my uh, calculations here. And then the cube. Actually, I think...
you see the lights head on, sorry. Let's see. Okay, so it was, uh, yeah, not that. We did, uh, we did just, uh, these down here. That's what we did. Okay. That's why that didn't look right. There we go. Now we got that right shape. Okay. Alright, so we need to see the side angle of the car, or motorcycle in this case. Uh, it looks like one row back. Two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get these struts in here for the front tire. And we're going to be using these smaller ones for the front. That way we keep it the right level. There we go. Alright, and if my calculations were correct... Uh-oh. They don't look like they're correct. Let's see. Something looks like it might be off, guys. I gotta go down with this real quick. Ah, uh, we're off by one. How are we off by one? Wait a second. No? That looks tall enough. Yeah. So what is off here? Did I build this too soon? No, because there was only one block there. Hmm. Something's slightly off here, guys. But this is supposed to be here, it looks like. No, no, we need to go down one more. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go, there's those cubes. Go ahead and just extend this out one more, real quick. And then we can get those struts again. That's level. So what is the deal with why this is off? Maybe I built all this too far down? I bet you this is all supposed to go up one. I bet you. Let's see. One, two, three. Yep, that's what it is. That's exactly what it is. Aw, that's a lot of uh, a lot of work we have to do to fix this. Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> I built the back slightly off, so let's let's move this all up one, huh? Okay. So we need to. Those there, those there. The resters go up here. I don't know, that still seems weird to me. Let's see. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, this isn't tall enough. Ah, okay. We didn't we didn't make this tall enough either. So, okay. By not doing this one more up, that's what threw me off too. Okay. Jeez. 
geez, I have to do all of this over again. I am really sorry about this, guys. Geez, that really threw me off. Big time, not getting this back part right. Alright, now we can... That there. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. We're essentially just moving this up all one. It's so annoying when that happens. I really didn't want that to happen on this build. I was trying to be careful not to accidentally do that. So, my apologies, guys. My apologies. I need to see a close up of that again so I get this angles right. I only go one down. Okay. And then the rest of that is the it's these ones that I have over there. Okay. Where are you? There you are. I'm gonna get those slow pieces in there. So now the tire goes there. Wait, what? Still off. There we go. Huh? Wait, how is this not... Let's go. So that's originally where it was. We need to go right there. Okay. We went a little too far down. There we go. Now. Now we're good. Okay. Now we got that tire in the right place. We should be able to redo the rest of this now. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Ah. <sighs> Sometimes it just doesn't go smooth. I'm still no expert at this game, but uh, we do try. We need this. There we go. And then the reverse. Bam. And then bam. There we go. And now these are off because they need to be back one. Yes. Be back at the side angle shot I have of this. Actually, you know what? It looks like I did mess this up again. Sorry, guys. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Let's just start right here. Because otherwise we're going to keep messing up. Let's... Okay. 
And then we had these like so. There we go. And now... Now it was the bottom of this. Okay. Just get rid of all of this, guys. Sorry. This is gonna throw me off. There we go. now. Okay. Just doing the general shape so that way we can get this correct now. Okay. So one... Okay, yeah, that's that's what was throwing me off. So this is one, two, three. So this is f two, three. Uh, yeah, and these are supposed to be the uh, slants. That's where I threw me completely off on this whole design. Okay, now we can get back on track, guys. And my apologies, that was a big screw up right there that I did. Big screw up. Sometimes you do all that prep work and then you still, still fudge it up. <laughs> I'll just say it in that nice terms. All right, now reverse way. Triangles. Bam. Bam. Alright. That should be correct now. Let me look at it one more time, this other picture. showing that I need to have this down one more. Hmm. That's quite possible I'm just completely off of my calculations right now, guys. Alright, so we need to do that. the right thickness though so I think we need to go out one with the cubes so we need to go out one and then we need to do this okay and then that There we go, that looks correct now. Okay, I can say that with certainty now. Okay. I guess I was making this one too high. 
because that's the only thing that makes sense why this isn't lining up like it's supposed to be. But, alright. Now that we're back on track, let's go ahead and fix that. Alright. And then... Bam. Okay. Now that's fixed. Okay. Now we can fix this down here. Okay. So... Let's go on the correct side so I'm not confusing myself. Okay. So now that we have this, then below that is the. Uh, that doesn't go there now. Also looks like that might be the issue too guys is that we're building this one too far out there's no way I can be this far off on my calculations one two three four five one two three four five yeah that's five okay I don't know why it looks weird to me guys that's that's so that's throwing me off so bad okay well, okay, so we're like that. Okay, so below that is these ones. And then that's where these thrusters go. Okay. And then next to that, that's where the, uh, the two goes. Okay. So now we got that correct. Okay. Now we can get the spokes back into place. All right. And get that nice. Oh, wait. Let's go ahead and just get all this built out, and then we can do them all at once. Do it the smart way since we wasted a lot of time trying to correct our mistake. There we go. And then, bam and bam. Okay, now that's correct. Alright, without a doubt in my mind that is correct. Alright, let's get the T3s back on there. They went... Yep, right there. Okay, back of the bike looks correct now. So let's get the thrusters back on there. Uh, da, 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 da. looks off to me but I don't know so yeah this still looks off from the original design a little bit but that's pretty much the basic shape right there but now it's starting to come into view how uh, I got this to look like a motorcycle. So let's go ahead and get these remaining pieces in here. Like I said, if worse comes to to happen that this isn't 100% exact, I've gotten the original design in here still. So. Uh, da -da. I had one up underneath the car, didn't I? Okay. 
Okay, yeah. So let's go ahead and this, and then we do the curve right here. There we go. I like it. And bam. There we go. Ah, actually this one was a slanted one for once, so... Because we did something different here. Just gotta make it look like it was a, uh, a tire, right? So... Actually, it looks like we can do the big ones now. I think we did throw something completely off on this thing, but I can't figure out where I went astray at the moment. But now this will fit. Whoa. Or will it not? No, it won't. Okay. Uh, never mind. Okay, that's what it is. We gotta fix. Got it. I got it now. We just need to move this up one is what the problem is. Okay. There we go. Now that looks correct. Okay. So what we're going to do is put our block here, and then we're going to put a nice landed piece there, and then this one, like so, and then, ah, I don't know what that lag is all about, it keeps lagging on me. Okay, now let's go ahead and just throw these in there, just so that we have them. I think it's gonna be like that actually though. Okay, so that, and then it'll be a slant up. Got it. All right, I got it. I got it figured out now. Bam, bam. Bam. And then this one's gonna be a nice curvy bit right here. There we go. Yep, there it is. And then course the other gun goes right there let me see if I got a better angle to make sure no it goes uh, goes up one right here there we go that's where we had it okay now that we have that like so, we need to start putting the last cosmetic part on here, which is the, where did you go? Oh yeah, it was the saber tooth here left and right, okay. I gotta figure out how this mounts again. So let me look at it real quick. Uh, da, da, da. 
Okay, so yeah, so this is the correct way it should go on there. So we need to have a, okay, a nut, a nut piece, got it. So we need cubes right around this area here. See if that'll work now for it. Oh, we need to go into the cosmetic section first. <clears throat> Let's see. That looks correct. Okay. So there we go. And we need to start placing uh, thrusters in the handlebars, the rest of the handlebars. So this is the other thing we needed to build in. Okay. So we need some cubes in here. This is where it gets a little complicated to do this handlebar thing I had thought of. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I know that looks a little weird, but it actually does work. There we go. Actually, I wonder if we could have uh, done it one closer. Hold on. No, unfortunately not. It's because of the uh, uh, they, those handlebars. They don't uh, sit right for that. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead and do that again. And that. And then we get Seekers back again. Face them forward. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, let's put a little protection on them so they don't get blasted off right away. So what we're going to do is make them look like uh, handles a little bit here. Or like where you can like put your, your hands into the back of them at least. So the more, more blocks we have on here, the better for CPU usage. I think that's all I did. I don't think I... Yeah. So it's just like... Like their handles on the front. See? There we go. Alright, so we got our general shape of the bike. Now we need to just make sure that we get everything placed on here correctly. So... Like right here is where I uh, put two thrusters. Make sure we get this thing uh, working right. There we go. And then we put a little hover right here. Looks like this one fit? No? Oh, you know what we probably did? We put a block there and then we put the hover. All right. Go ahead and fill that in. Uh, get that hover back on there. T1 hover. I guess not. Maybe it was. It has to be this one then. Maybe because uh, I guess we do need the block there for those ones. Let's see, movement. Do, do, do. Huh. Why are you no no fitting now? 
Hmm, interesting. This isn't in the exact right place. This stuff's not going to work right. So we need to make sure that we can't uh, put this here for whatever reason. Why it won't let us. Let's put it there for now and see how that works out. I think we did another slant right here come on seems got to keep thinking about it all right that yeah so that way it's like a little pig area there we go there we go all right and I want to say that's pretty much how we had it Uh, let's get rid of those because we don't need them there anymore and now we need the rest of the thrusters so we needed a little one in there as well connected at. Uh, let's see if we can't put a slope right here to connect it. There we go. At least something. There we go. And another slope there. No, it won't fit. Okay. Alrighty, uh, where else do we need thrusters at? Okay, so we had two down here. Or we had one down here, sorry. The big ones. Yeah, it looks like this did need to move forward one, unfortunately. Darn. I guess I otherwise I won't be able to fit the thrusters there. So let's just move this forward one. All right. And then we can actually do this now that we did that. If we need to. Actually, let's get the thruster in there before we mess that up again. So. Yeah, it sits right there just perfectly. Okay. And then we had a forward thruster under here. It's perfectly right there. All right. And now let's get this cosmetic part back on here. There you are. guys check it out it looks pretty much complete let me just verify that I put all the necessary thrusters under there 
Oh, we need uh, the ones down here. So it looks like I did have like uh, a little blocky mess right here, but I kind of had to. So let's see. Let's get those cubes in there. How low did that go? I think that's where it was at right there. Uh, that's a T3 hover. No, 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 not a T3, uh, T2, sorry. Bam. Looks like I fit a something right here though. Looks like this one. Yeah, something is definitely off on this design. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to 100% recreate what I made earlier, but it should be close enough to where it doesn't mess up on us, hopefully. There we go. And that should do it. So let's just test it real quick to see if it actually functions like the other one did. And we'll go from there. So it's functioning right, even though I was slightly off with something. Oops. Put myself over right there. There we go. Well, this one still functions, even though something is slightly off in my design, so. It's a little wonky on the, uh, on the thrusters, the hovers, but for the most part, it's working almost as good as the other one. All right, well, let's get the colors now. Now, there were several different colors for this specific, specific uh, type of bike, but I went with a combination of the, the cartoon and the toy that came out for it. So that's what I'm basing the colors off of it myself here. So first things first, let's switch over to the paint gun. We got to start off with red. All right. Now, uh, I think we did a very light blue. Okay, now I have to, unfortunately, so I remember doing having to do this. Uh, I had to take out the glass real quick and then put it back in because it will not be the right color all the way through. So, let's just get this out real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and paint those lights too while we're at it. <laughs> Just that way they show up better. Alright. Let's go ahead and put those back in. And now... Oh wait. Sorry, we weren't done with that yet. Okay. And we need... You. And then we need... That and the triangles. Alright. There we go. Now you can see like the glass. Oh wait, we did the glass in black. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry guys. What am I thinking? Not looking at my picture correct. I think I did the lights in blue and then the glass in black. That's what I did. Okay. Alright, now let's go back to black. 
There we go. That's that's correct now. Okay. So, there we go. And now, we need to get this black. So we gotta make them look like tires. There we go. I like it, looks nice. Now this one kinda goes into the frame, so we don't need to like make any of this look uh, red. Did it make these guns yellow, if I remember correctly? Yeah, I sure did. Alright, and let's go back to black. Okay, it's just that top part that was that so then we had a layer that was red and the black okay now we need to do silver for the spokes area this side as well. And get up under there. There we go. We don't want to miss anything. Awesome. And then uh, let's do is this in black. still red oh we forgot to add the uh, the tailpipes back on whoops my bad guys oh well, we have the black color selected so it's a good time to add them back on there uh, da, 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 get the right side there we go all right uh, da, 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 or did I do the silver? Let's see. Yeah, I left them silver. Okay. And... Okay. Did the handles black as well. So we need to paint these black. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. good okay so now we need to get yellow and do the yellow highlights so we had yellow here 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 and there and that piece there that piece there. All right. Oh, and okay, so this was still red down here. Sorry, guys. And then we had yellow here and there. We did have yellow here, here, and then this was red, but then the rest of that was silver. Okay. That's how I did it. Got it. 
All right. Uh, I think that pretty much covers it. Let me double check. What else was black? Let me see. I had a picture of the splenometer. I had that black as well. That's what it was. There we go. Oh yeah. These need to be black as well. And... We left those red. And yeah. There it is, guys. Yeah, we left those ones red. So there is our bike. Test it again one more time. go ahead and show you the other one I did and uh, you I'm pretty sure I was off on a block somewhere which threw off the entire build but because I was like something is still not lining up 100% correct but I essentially got it got a smaller version of it to work so because <laughs> I think I used pretty much all of my CPU on the other one so, there it is from the distance. There's that one. Now the one that we built before we started this, the test build one. Let's see. Yeah, something's definitely Definitely off on the other one, because there is four right here. Hmm. Oh, I also had uh, hovers in here. The bigger hovers. That's what was probably causing the stability issue on the other one. <coughs> so here's the test build one that I did. Okay, so we just needed to add the, um, the bigger hovers into the, like, engine area, and then that would have corrected the the other one also had the tank red oh, okay I forgot I did that let's see how much smoother this one is this one's not all as unstable as the other one okay so it threw us off by not putting those hovers in there yeah I think those two hovers in the engine area would have been uh, the key to making the other one stable. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, go into a robot fight with this one and uh, show you what it can do. Now, depending on what mode there is, we'll do a test with uh, against the actual players in the game. But I'm just going to go to an AI match right now. See, there's, there's the test build one that is 100% correct, so. Yeah, see, the, the placement of some things is off for some reason somewhere. Yeah, and I did a slope thing on that instead. So, yeah, I kind of messed up the other one just slightly, but not bad enough to where, like, it was going to ruin my day or something. <laughs> So yeah, it's just something was slightly off here and here. So I just did a block off and then forgot to add in these thrusters right here. So, alrighty guys, well let's let's get into a robot fight. So we're gonna go AI. What are conditions for this? Very thin atmosphere. Okay, that should not affect this one too much. Enough. It, it should, if anything, help it hover better. So. All right, that really bothers me though that uh, it was a complicated build so I'm not going to beat myself up too much about it but I got it close enough to where it worked so the enemy 
18. And like it's pretty much exactly like it. What the heck is that? Mess me up to where I can't uh, can't fly properly right now, but that's why we have the seekers on there so we can. Uh... Oh yeah, that is messing you up. Yes, got him. Okay, this bot actually works really well in combat. Okay, come on, get yourself. Reoriented. Come on. There we go. Alright. Yeah, let's get back in there. All these explosions are throwing my bot off. <laughs> this should help with this one, huh? stole my kill, but that's fine. I'd rather the us get the kill than not. <laughs> I'm already up to six kills though anyway, so. Ah! Come on, get that last. Did the most damage and everything, so this this robot build is awesome. <laughs> I might upload this one to the store, so so other people can enjoy it. Also, thanks again, Prince Highlight, for donating that diamond. I hadn't gotten to see the the link make a rain gift yet, so. <laughs> uh, 
I like that one. It, it's, it's hilarious. All the rubies just dropping on his face. <laughs> <coughs> All right, guys. Uh, let's see what game mode there is. All right. Well, let's go into a normal robot fight with this and see how we do. So. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Team Deathmatch too, nice. Yeah, so sorry guys, if y'all build along with me later that I like threw that build off, but know there's a melee guy. Okay, this is a respawn mode. Got it. Heal me? teammate is not doing a good job of helping.
Ryan got me. Oh, I need to get that melee guy. He's like messing our team up. this guy healing. Woo! Come on! Kill my bike! Where'd you go? Or not. <laughs> Oh, we're almost coming back from this. Come on, guys. There you go. Oh, no. They just got two kills at once. I need to go after the ones that are weak. Oh god, that guy's gonna get killed, isn't he? No! <laughs> oh, someone on our team lost. Oh, but I, I did the best on my team. You should probably see me up there. Yep. Any other designs? Not really. I usually don't like to vote for my own robot, but the others just look like drones, so. And what I mean by drones when I say that term is just like kind of like a a bot you just slap together and just threw weapons on. You didn't make it try to make it look like anything, you just tried to make it uh, super functional for destroying so I like to do a combination of both if it takes away from one or the other you know so be it but I don't just like to just slap cubes together and then throw weapons on there to me that's very boring and that's like half of the fun of this game is to uh, is to uh, build a, a robot that'll work right so all right I'm gonna just slowly pan around this thing so if you guys want to like uh, recreate it yourself, you can kind of look in here. And if you guys really like this robot, I will also make it available on the uh, on the store. So. Yeah, definitely looks like I uh, was off on the on the build. I'll actually go into the uh, editor as well so I can show you the underneath. Alright. 
Oh. Sorry, I was concentrating on the build so much I didn't talk as much as I normally do on my episodes. So we'll lift this up into the air so you can see the underneath part. So these are T2, and then these are normal hovers. They're not the any tier, so. Um, so we got this curved part here. It com actually comes out three off the bike. Okay, that was another reason why I was having issues with things fitting. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Just wasn't quite having everything lined up properly. Yep, and it looks like this is a whole block up. One, two, three, and then... Yeah, and then it came back one. Okay, so this is only like two thick. I thought this was three thick, so that's why the back of my other one is messed up. Okay mystery solved but <laughs> so we have only this middle layer that actually connects the back on this one so that's where my weakness is for this bike I guess I would hate to do that but might be able to put like a strut from here to there to like make it stronger in here but really don't want to have to do that so there's two hovers one connected this way towards the back wheel and then the other hover is connected towards the center where I have it in here, uh, a block. Or, no, no, connected towards the other way. So there's no blocks in this middle section right here. And it's just connected up uh, on the sides, it looks like. Alright, and then we have the thrusters there. So that's all correct. We had the thruster there, and then we had another two hovers here. So... So we used the, that weird little piece in there. That's what that was. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I couldn't 100% recreate this. All right, so that's how that area is. I just want to get in here and kind of show y'all what it should have looked like when I was building it. Okay. Yeah, so there was supposed to be, like, little space here, so that way... Uh, you can see through the handlebars, like they're not 100% attached like that. Like ones in real life. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well, this machine actually works really well, so I'm probably going to use this one on a regular basis. So thank you so much, uh, Prince Highlight, for requesting this robot. Uh, I had a lot of fun building it. It was a lot of hard work, but it paid off in the end. Yeah, so, yeah, where the seat started, and three above that, yeah. And it was only too thick, and that's what was throwing me off for the back here. Okay. Oh, and then we connected in like that. Okay, that's what was throwing off the design a little bit there, too. And then I had this kind of go around that. All right. So... If y'all have any questions on this build, uh, don't don't hesitate to like message me. Or if you really want this build, uh, click on our Discord, DM me, and tell me, hey, put it in the uh, Robocraft uh, store so I can buy it, and I'll be glad to do so. So uh, I will show you this because I was having an issue figuring out how to even do this. So I went to the factory and I found this bike right here. So this is what I based my design off of. Now, as you can see, he used a lot more cosmetic parts and uh, uh, a lot less cubes. So his his robot is a lot weaker than mine, but he gave me the idea of how to use this. And then I just basically spent that four hours like looking at the parts, figuring out what parts were what, and then putting them together myself so I could figure out how to go about doing it. So, I didn't use these fender pieces in the back, this bottom piece here. I didn't use these or this head piece up here. So, I annexed uh, a couple of the cosmetic parts that he used because it was 
as cool as this design looks, uh, it wasn't what I was going for. So, um, and then also when I tested this one out, I'll go ahead and show you that right now too. This robot of his, uh, there's, it's not really functional. So it's more like for a looks thing. He just wanted to build a motorcycle in here. Is it, it doesn't, uh, like once you go up something, it gets like really thrown off. Or it was. <laughs> Huh, now it's working right. Maybe it was once you got in the air? No. Oh, that's what it was. It was hard to get it back down once it got up in the air. Like, it would just keep doing that. There we go. Ah, nope. It's still not right. Yeah, see? It just, and now it's stuck, and that's the issue I was having before, like, once it, like, starts, like, spinning around and stuff, you cannot stabilize it for some reason. I don't know why you can't just... See, it's, like, it's still, like, messed up. There we go. Did you fix yourself now? Okay. See what I mean? Like, it's, like, very unstable. Once it gets thrown off its balance, it just, it's hard to get it back, and you can't have that during a robot battle. So, <coughs> awesome job to that guy on looks, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't going to work for, for us, but, um, I'm going to, uh, let's go to the factory. I keep, I keep talking about the factory, and some of y'all may not know what I'm talking about, but as you build things in this game... You can upload them to a store, and uh, as long as you have the parts to be able to build it, you can uh, pay for the game to build it for you, and then that way you don't have to worry about uh, building that robot or trying to recreate it if you can't. So, why is my caps lock on? Order cycle. So, we do that. There's only two designs currently on this game that are motorcycles. <coughs> oh, so I added a third one. Well then. Obviously, this is the one we bought. Motorcycle Heavy. This is the other one that was on here before, and I like the way this one looked. But as you turn the wheels, these things are going to like do different things from each other, and it's going to look kind of funky, but... I mean, for going for like more of a Harley kind of look, that's, that works really well. So they did a good job. Let's see this new one. How did they do? Okay, so they connected it only on one side, but oh my god, that... As soon as you shoot off that, that rod right there, they lose their front wheel. So that's kind of a bad design. I mean, like, it's... They need to make motorcycle wheels for this game to where it attaches on both sides of the wheel and then it'll independently turn like that. I have a wing on it too, I guess for the fins. It's not bad. It's a T2 as well, so these are T4s and these are T5s. Uh, mine is a... What is mine considered? My, mine's considered a tier 5 robot. Let me go back in here. I don't know why it doesn't show it out there. Yeah. You see the little bar right there. It says T5. So I can only participate in those types of matches with this one. But uh, yeah. Alrighty guys. That is all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any more requests for robot builds. Uh, feel free to let me know. Um. And just like I said, if it's a more complicated build, this is what I typically like to do. I get tons of pictures. I look on here to get ideas from other people who have created things to figure out how to go about some of the things. And then I build it myself from scratch and figure it out. And then I try to recreate it live for y'all if I can. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we didn't 
quite accomplish that this time, but we were we were pretty close, so um, it was just slightly off. Well, I got the funds. I'm gonna go ahead and max this bay out. There we go. Now we got a robot bay ready for the next robot build. And I think the test one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, rename as the official Biker Mice from Mars, and then I'll get rid of the this extra one I just built. So that way we can, uh, yeah, just looking at them, you can tell <coughs> it's slightly off and there's some slight differences, but <coughs> this one came out a lot better. So... Thank you all for joining me. Uh, again, thank you Prince High Life for the diamond, the five lemons, the request for this robot build. I absolutely love building things from my childhood and everything. I loved Biker Mice from Mars growing up. Uh, I still kind of wanted to do like maybe the, uh, the like battle van that like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had, but I would need to think about that one as well, like how to go about it. It's mostly square, but I, I want to recreate the like turtle shell perfectly, so I'm going to have to mess around with some things, uh, get a little bit better at building in this game before I attempt that one. Um, and yeah. Alright, this is Mad Dog signing off, and we'll see you next time, Slacker Underground. Um, should be streaming with Bunny and Clunkin sometime this weekend, uh, Borderlands pre-sequel, because we want to complete a playthrough of that before Borderlands 3 comes out. So, be on the lookout for us all streaming some point this weekend, probably toward the nighttime tomorrow, and maybe sometime during the day on Sunday, because of, uh, other things that are going on this weekend for me, so... But yeah, thank you for stopping by, and don't forget to howl at the moon with me as we uh, go for the day, guys. See you next time, Slack Underground. <laughs>